Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm super excited because we have the first gel box UK subscription box of the entire year, which is obviously very exciting. I can't wait to see what is in this box. Um, so just the front of it, obviously, as you can see, is black with 2024 in on and then Happy New Year and some fireworks. Let's see what we've got inside. I can't wait to see what's in this one. The top of the box is really cute. As always, I love these boxes. They're always beautiful and I always find it really difficult to get rid of them because they're just so pretty. I, to be fair, I say I find it difficult to get rid of them. I don't. I just don't get rid of them. <laughs> um, so here is a little... Oh, that's good. Then I'll put in how much everything is worth um, on here. So that's really cool. It's got lots of information on there of what's in the box, which is very handy. So let's have a look what is in here. I need a bit of tape on that. Let's just cut that. Where have I put my scissors? Just use them. There it is. The box smells nice. I can smell it already. I don't know if it's the cuticle oil. Wow, look at this. Right, so here's everything we've got. Obviously, I'm going to swatch the colours as always. Is it there? Oh, that cuticle oil is really strong. It's beautiful. Amazing. Lovely. Right, that's going in my oil thing. Right, so we've got a, ooh, a reflective glitter and a little applicator for it as well. So that's in there. That's good because you can put it on top of any colour then. I like that. And then here we've got a really cute little 2024 key ring, which is very nice. Then we've got a, a file. These files are really good to be fair. And then we've got the scent. That explains the smell coming from the box. Beautiful smell. I love that. And then we've got our four gel polishes. Oh, wow. <gasps> They're all sparkly. How exciting. Just to make sure there's nothing hiding that I'm missing. So don't throw anything away that I shouldn't. All right. Let's get a swatch of these colours. I've got my swatch sticks at the ready. I'm going to label them as well, actually. So let me just... Ah, oh, this one's not got a label on. Oh my gosh, it's a beautiful colour. It's not got a label on, so I'm not going to be able to label that one, but it's fine. I think this one's a Builder Gel. Yeah. So... Oh, that Builder Gel I've already got, actually, I think. Is that this one? Yeah, Tequila Rose is the Builder Gel. So I have already swatched that on my channel before. I will do it again anyway, just because it's new in the box. And obviously it doesn't mean you've seen the last one. But um, we've got two new colours here, Bad and Bougie and Glam Rock. So like I said, I'm just going to quickly do my, what's it called, um, labels for my swatch sticks for it. So Bad, oh wait, I put GB at the front of these gel box. I'm not going to put and on just because it makes it a lot longer than it needs to be for the stick. And what was the other one? Glam Rock. I just put two spaces in front of each word and then I can, I've can i got plenty of space to cut. Cut them out with my scissors. Saves wasting... Uh, what's it called? The tape or whatever it's called. Because it naturally puts a lot of tape either side of the words. So if you do one word at a time, you waste so much of it. So it's much better to do as many as you can with the same tape. I'm so excited to swatch these colours. We all know how much I love glitters. Right, so... I cut one on here. I just cut either side of the letters because these are slightly too wide for my swatch sticks. And just quickly stick those on. I get the tape that is it's not tape, what's it called? Labels, that's it. I get the labels that are a clear background with black lettering. And then you can't really tell that their labels that much when you look at them on here which is good so let's get into swatches let's just move that out the way that i've just got everywhere clean up a bit there we go zoom in some there we go right so glam rock which one's that what's the darker one let's get straight into it i'm so excited to see these colors let me just zoom in a little bit more oh this seems like it's gonna be a nice deep gray color 
I'm gonna wipe over my swatch stick, make sure it's nice and clean. <sighs> wow, this colour is right up my street. It's like a, a deep blue grey. It's hard to explain. I think it's more grey than blue. To be fair, it might not even have blue. I don't know. I don't really trust my eyesight anymore, but I think it's a bluey grey. <laughs> That's what I'm going with anyway. Hopefully it'll be more prominent of one or the other when I do the second coat, so it's easier for me to tell you which colour it is. I think it's grey, but I see a very slight resemblance of blue in it as well, so... I'm going to say it's both. Just... Sticking that on properly. Right. This is Bad and Bougie. This looks beautiful. It's proper glittery. I'm not sure there's nothing on that stick that shouldn't be. <gasps> Wow. I've got a feeling this one is going to be very popular with my clients. This is beautiful. It's like a plum, plummy burgundy sort of colour with gold and pink glitter in. I'm probably really butchering my description of these two colours, but that's what my eyes are seeing anyway. Obviously, everyone's eyes see things a bit differently. <laughs> but, yeah, I'd say that's a plum. With gold and red. Gold and red or gold and pink? Gold and pink. Maybe even red as well. I don't know. You definitely shouldn't trust me at this point. <laughs> right, so a uh, named colour is this one. Wow. I've got one from here. Very similar to this colour. So I'm going to get that out and see what the differences are. Grab it. I can't remember what that one is called either. It's called Supernova. And they are different though. I don't, I'm not sure if you can tell. Let me just open them up. So the one on the right is Supernova. And the one on the left is the unnamed one. Um, I'm not sure if you can tell, but Supernova is much more like purpley, whereas the one on the left is much more neutral. But they're both absolutely beautiful. Supernova is very popular for me. It's a stunning colour. So I have no doubt that the one that is not named will be as well. So I'm just going to do the second coat of these now. I'm definitely going with this one as a grey. And now it's got a second coat. It does seem a lot less blue. So I think it is just a grey to be honest. But... Who knows with my eyesight. Either way, whatever it classes as, it's beautiful. I'm not sure if you can see that very fine shimmer going through it. It's a really, really stunning colour. This one is just... I mean, I'm always biased, to be honest, um, with glitter. Like, any polish that has glitter in I'm going to love it way more than anything else. It could literally be any colour. Don't get me wrong, there's plenty of colours, nails-wise, that I just wouldn't wear. Oh gosh, what's going on with the... There we go. There's plenty of colours that I wouldn't wear, um, nail-wise, but make those exact colours into a glitter, and I'm all over it. Look how stunning that is. I've not got anything like that either in my collection of gel, so that is brilliant because it's very hard like, when you've got a big collection to find um, stuff that you don't have anything similar to. But Gel Box UK, keep pulling it out of the bag every single month. My discount code will be in the top left corner as well. You can get 15% off monthly subscription boxes. And as you can see from that first note at the beginning, I'm just going to quickly show you it. Um, it tells you how much everything would be. So you can see how good value it is. And obviously you get 15% off as well. So that is pretty good value to me. 
if I do say so myself. So I'm just waiting for those to come out the lamp and I'm going to top coat them and then I'll show you what they look like. Okay, I almost forgot to swatch the builder gel. I'm just going to swatch it on the underneath of this um, swatch stick because I don't have to top coat it then and I'm lazy. I'm just going to build it up to quite a thick layer um, just so it's easier for you to see the colour pay off instead of having to do lots and lots of um, layers. This is a beautiful, beautiful colour. Lovely, lovely pink builder gel. Just holding it upside down to get it to float better to the side walls a bit. Such a stunning colour. And it self-levels really, really well, to be honest. Um, I'll be honest, I haven't actually used this builder gel on clients because... I tend to just stick to one specific brand, if that makes any sense. I don't really mix it up with builders, just more of the gel polishes. But I have used it on myself and it is beautiful. So anyway, these are the three colours, obviously, that you've just saw me swatch. They're all absolutely stunning colours. Oh, let's put them in order so that makes sense. So those are the colours, let's get some light, how beautiful are they, they're all so glossy, super super sparkly, so yeah absolutely beautiful but let me just show you the builder gel, so this is the builder gel and what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to put some of that flash glitter over this builder gel swatch just so you get a swatch of the glitter as well and because i'm super excited to use it too <gasps> this is a lovely pot look at it it's like really pretty like it's got like shapes on here instead of just flat which is nice right, i'm just going to peel the lid off hopefully without spilling it everywhere This is what it looks like how sparkly that is i have got my flash on at the moment we'll turn it off and then we'll be able to see the difference between the two so i'm going to put a layer of base coat on the top of this swatch just to make it sticky i'm going to half cure it and then i'm going to pop the um flash glitter into the tacky layer i think that's how i'm going to apply it I've never actually used a loose version of the reflective glitters. I'm going to pop that into the lamp for 30 seconds. I'll probably put it in for 20 seconds actually, just to make sure it's really got some tackiness left. Um, and then I'm going to dab this into that tacky layer, like I said, and we'll see how that goes. I've never used a loose glitter version of the reflective glitters, so I don't know if there's like a better work, better way to use it. Than another way or whether you can use it whatever way you want or whether you could mix it with gel and paint it over the top of a swatch um i might do that as well actually it's just so we can see the difference in how to use it so i'm going to do another swatch of that builder gel just so they're both the same so you can see whether there's any differences between the different methods of how they look um so in the first one that I've just popped in, obviously I've put the base coat on the top. So I'm going to use that as the tacky layer for my reflective glitter. And then for that one I've just put in, I'm going to mix this glitter with some clear gel and use that and see how that works. So let's just dab this on. I mean, to be fair, this isn't the best way to apply loose glitter, like with a with this um, applicator. Like this is sort of, I typically do this with a brush if I was doing it onto a tacky layer, because you can pick more product up. But we'll work with it; it's fine. This definitely wasn't the best way to go about it. That is apparent. But like I said, we learn from mistakes. It's fine. Right, so I'm going to pop that back into the lamp now for a full 
another 30 second cure so it's fully cured after and then when i take it out of the lamp i'll dust off any excess and we'll top coat see what it looks like i'm just going over like this and just patting the glitter into the tacky layer um just to get it nice and smooth so when i top coat it's not going to go everywhere basically And then this one is now cured. So like I said, I'm going to mix it now with a clear coat, with a clear gel. I'm just going to use that base coat that I just used, just a cheapy one. And I'm just going to mix. Put some on my palette here. I'm going to pop some of this glitter into the clear. Mix it, to, mix it together and then apply it like that. Let's see how it works out. Don't know until you try obviously the the obvious method is to sprinkle it into wet gel i'm not going to do that because i don't want to waste it but we'll see how this goes this would be good because it would be um super easy to apply just making sure there's no glitter already on my glitter brush that i use and then i'm going to sweep that up onto my brush and then just paint it straight on One thing I have noticed about the texture of this reflective gel, reflective glitter is it is very grainy. Very, very grainy. But I'm going to pop that into the lamp now. The other one is done. So I'm going to wait for that one to finish. Pop the top coats on both of them. Um, and then we can see how they look. In fact, I might as well stop this top coat this one now instead of waiting around. Might as well do it on camera. So I'm just going to use a... Um, a top coat that I'm not bothered about getting glitter in basically making sure that the top coat is really floated over so it's covered every single speck of glitter and it's nice and smooth like so get whatever that little black bit is there off there we go I'm going to pop that into the lamp now now I'm going to top coat the other one. Obviously if you sprinkle it, it's going to make the entire nail completely silver reflective. I'm just swatching it in, well it's not really a swatch, it's more like a test. I'm just testing it in this way because I want to see whether it's possible to use it like as like a top hat over the top of any other colour so you can make any colour a bit reflective. That is my quest <laughs> so i'm just gonna wait for those to finish curing and then i will show you them with and without the flash um and we'll see which one we think worked better okay so here are the two finished looks um the one on the right is oh gosh which one is which okay i just had to look back at the video to figure out which one was which the one on the left is the one that i patted it on with the applicator the eyeshadow applicator and this one uh, here on the table is the one that I painted it onto basically so you can already tell without the flash that they look different and um, this one's a bit more sporadic this one has definitely stuck more in more places obviously as you can see um, so I'm going to put the flash on now I'm going to get rid of my light so this is what it looks like without the flash and without my LED light on my desk and then this is what it looks like wow with my flash on my phone and then i'm going to get my light on my desk as well just so you can see with both look how incredible that looks i actually think that you can see the reflectiveness more in this one um maybe it's just because there's less on it so it's easier to see because it's less compact but yeah really really pleased with how it looks on both of them to be fair i think it's beautiful um but at least now we know that it does look nice like over the top of another color so these are the three colors that come in the box and then here is the I'll turn that over so it looks like a swatch of just the uh actually no that was the good one wasn't it turn that one over so it looks like a swatch of the builder gel this is just for my thumbnail by the way if you're wondering why i'm messing about with them um and then that is the swatch of the reflective gel but how absolutely beautiful are all of them i think they're all absolutely stunning they've done such a good job with this month's box 
very definitely started the year off strong going in with this as the first box of the year but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching let me know which one out of these three is your favorite obviously this one is unnamed but then we've got glam rock and bad and bougie so which one is your favorite i actually think mine's the middle one i'm more likely to wear this one but that one's my favorite to look at if that makes any sense so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i'll be back soon with another video bye